Hey guys, it's Lovable Bays here, and today I am doing the seven deadly sins of a model horse collector. I am really professional, so I have it pulled up on my iPad because I am that professional. So let's get started. <laughs> Introduce myself, I just remember that. I just recorded this video and it was like 20 minutes long, even with editing, and I was like, damn, I can't post that. Nobody would be interested in it. So today I'm doing the seven deadly sins of a model horse collector. And so I'm gonna make this a little bit quicker, but hopefully it will be as fun as it was 20 minutes ago. So the first one is what is your what is your least expensive model and your most expensive model? What I've decided is I'm gonna just stick to Briars because I do collect like Schleich and um and Briars, but I'm just gonna do Briars. And um so my least expensive horse would be that I did not get on sale would be this guy um the Cobb horse I forget what it's called I got him at a rodeo on sale for like four dollars he's so cute and so sorry so adorable and I think he is amazing and my most expensive model is this guy um I got him for $20 this is Vetron I normally take lots of snapchats where I'm just like behind him and all my friends are like is that a plastic horse and I'm like yes do you have a problem with that and they're like yes so yeah, he gets in everything. He's my one of my all-time favorites in my collection. He's really cute, and I love his like mane and everything. And yeah. Um. So the second one is Wrath. I have my iPad on me, so I know what I'm doing. Um. What model do you have a love? hate relationship with. I pulled out these models already, so this one. His name is Cloud, aka Noodle Tail. It looks like he's farting out noodles. You know like the noodles you eat like almost every night and they're like thin and thick and that's what it looks like and you're just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat your tail. I don't know. And yeah. And he but I love him because who can say no to this face? This face. Look at it. It's so cute. And he's a little mean and he's so adorable. I like I love this half, so I wish I could just decapitate his head and put this on a mold that looks nice and I mean personally like why couldn't they just color him like a little bit like less noodly because I'm hungry now looking at this model and every time I lay on my bed and I look at this guy I'm like hmm I could use some pasta now do you really want pasta that much that you need a model like pasta no just no okay the second one is Glut. Actually, it's the third one. And it is Gluttony. And yes, I already mentioned him because damn, Felicia, you would just love this model. See, as Vortvet from the pony, he is a pony. You know, I love him because in, like, darker lighting, sorry, I just myself, 
he looks like black because like when I have him up here you guys are like black horse bay horse black horse bay horse black horse bay horse and he's a bay you guys he's a bay in the light but now look he looks dark he looks black like if you put him against my shirt yeah he looks black um I love him because he has like little like the highlights see you see the highlights now and he's bay and he's really adorable and I think it's Briar did a really good job on him. He's like lighter at the shoulder, and it's kind of nice because like the way they did well, did his layering, like the way like the sun or light in this case hits it, because I'm filming in the darkness, worst decision ever. It's like kind of cool. Like I think it's beautiful, but the only thing that I don't like about him is he has this warped foot. And that really bothers me. But other than that, you know, if I just was like, yeah, I love this model, you know, there would be nothing wrong. <laughs> Thank you for saying bless you because you probably did. And if you didn't, why didn't you say bless you? I would bless you if you sneezed and I saw it. Okay. What do you hate about your model? horses um I don't hate the size of my collection but I hate the value of my collection if that makes sense I mean I have a bunch of slash horses that you get for like 99 cents or not 99 cents but like three dollars or something and like it's not very valuable I guess and I really I mean, I don't have anything against how was my mom. Yay. Um, but what I would say is, um, uh, what I'm doing, slow, slaw. Oh, I don't hate my value. I feel like I just have a lot of common models, and I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, look at my very special LSQ Vetron and look he's glossy and he has no hoof marks and no stripes on his feet and no scratches and no this and no that and he's perfect LSQ and we can do anything and I'm gonna go to Briarfest and win medals. I mean no offense to anybody who does that because I envy you. That's why? Oh, and I also hate when I have to take pictures and then it's like, house, house. And then I'm like, well, why can't you be as big as that house? So then it doesn't look weird. Or as, you know, like, so that it would be to scale with the house. So then it like looks nice and it looks like this horse is like running past your house because that's completely normal. You know, I'm just going to. Move on to seven. Oh, pride. What models are you most proud of? Or model? Well, I'm most proud of this guy. This The person who posted this form that I'm reading off of this is like, nice shiny middles. Like, look at my beauty. I'm so proud of him. I'm just like, look at my custom. Isn't he beautiful? He took like 20 layers. Not the best. His hooves color is off, and so it, and his mane and tail colors are uneven. But what I love is that his like feet look dirty-ish, and he's like really cute. And he's supposed to be a Frisian. I see a lot of people painting this mold into like a black horse, and I was like, hell no, I'm not doing that. But the only thing is that I find is I held him here once. And, like, it took off a lot of layers, like, right there, and it looks kind of weird. But other than that, I really like how he came out. I used tons of chalk for him, and, you know, he really was, like, my star type thing, that my love of my life. Nine is lust. What do you look for in a new model horse? Um, I look that it's as close to LSQ as possible to the price. Meaning that, say I have this horse for sale. He has rubs and all sorts of things on him. 
I'm not going to be like, okay, I'm paying $150 for him. Or like, they're like, I want $20 for this horse. I'm not going to, like, I don't, I would say, okay, I'll pay you like a dollar. And that would be expensive for him because he's like in horrible condition. I would pay a dollar. And if, like, I looked that they're reasonably priced for their quality. So he's almost else cute. I would pay $25 for him, roughly. I pay a little bit more than I paid because, actually, because he was in the box at the time. Like, I felt like I was really getting a deal with him because he's almost LSQ and he was in the box and everything. And so I felt, I feel now that I did a good job that I want my models to be in the quality. Like, I know I said I was going to do all briars, but I will throw one slice thing in here. But, um... Say we have this horse, and if you go to Walmart to get your slice, you know they always have them all, like, dominoed over and everything. I'm not going to pay $5 for a scratched-up, beat-up horse when I can go three, when I go to another one, and that's maybe, like, I don't know, 10 minutes away, and I have to go, like, to Michael's, which is right next to it. Then I would go there and get the nice horse for the same price because I'm already going to Michael's anyway. You know what I mean? Or I'll like say, oh yeah, I need to go to the bookstore which is next to it or whatever. Or I need a book anyways and this this Walmart doesn't have it. Like if I'm already going there, why would I want to buy the beat up model versus I could go somewhere else and get the same model in like a better quality? So that's my theory on it. And... Lastly is NB. What is your grail? So at the moment, my grail model in the 1-9 scale is Tally Ho. Inserting photo right there. And um, or here, I'll move over. You know, we can fit it. Tally Ho. And, um, I really love, like, her, how, like, she looks and everything. She is super cute. She is a roan, and she's in the cantering Welsh pose. And I really love the buttons, and her, like, tail is all cute and adorable. She has little socks. I know a lot of people, um, as either people hate or love this mold because of the whole legs issue, Oh, the legs are all four different lengths. It doesn't bother me because she stands and she doesn't need a stand, which is great, and I don't have to deal with it. So I think it's cute, it's adorable, and her face is so adorable. I have things, if, if, that horse has to have a cute face for me to buy it, okay? Like Mama and, Mama and Chica, yeah, I'm gonna probably get them because Chica has this cute, Chico, Mama and Chico have these, really cute faces, and I'm going to be like, oh my god, his face is so cute, and get him. And I'll probably share, Ma I'll give Mama to my friend, and I'll just pay, like, half, and she can have Mama, and I can have Chica, or something, or we can switch, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's my holy grail. And that was the last of the seven model horse deadly sins. So, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. What? Subscribe. What? Let me do that again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Become a bay bay because you guys are amazing. And I love to get to know you. Leave something down in the comments for me to do next. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.